there was about five feet of water inside of our home. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time and I have a lot to explain. I literally have a list here in front of me of things I want to talk about and to help me keep on track so I don't ramble too much. It is a list of about five things and let's just get right into it. Number one, this video and the series that this is going to become is just for entertainment purposes only. This is not a feel bad for me type of situation and these videos are just gonna be for fun and just to document something that Adam and I lived through. Yes, it does have its traumatic and very dramatic situations. I mean, as you can see from the video, our house did flood and that obviously caused a lot of damage to our home, but this video is not a feel bad for us situation. This is just, I record parts of my life and I decide to put it on the internet and this just happens to be one of those things. Number two, when we bought this house, we were aware we were purchasing a home in a flood zone. We just didn't know it was gonna happen right at our one year anniversary. So this happened back in November of 2021. Before we purchased our home, we went and talked to the neighbors and we asked them about the flood situation. And he said that he has seen about three to four pretty bad floods in his over 30 plus years living in his home. And so our thought was, okay, great, we'll buy a house. It only happens like every six to seven years. You know, you hit that one year anniversary buying a home for the first time and we ended up having a flood that was record setting. So now that leads me in to number three. Where in the world have I been for the last seven months? It is currently July of 2022 and the flood happened in November of 2021. So what happened? Where have I been? What's been going on? Basically, once our house flooded, I kind of put my YouTube channel on pause. I don't really have a great excuse for it other than I kind of let the fact that my house flood consume my life. When you purchase a home in a flood zone, you do have to have flood insurance. So thank God it is something we pay for and you know, we are very blessed that we do have flood insurance. I was unaware of how long paperwork and claims and all of that can take to file and get that process going. So I decided to hold off on these videos until we were able to start fixing our house and I just didn't really record a lot or decide to edit or upload any other videos in the meantime. So here we are. I promise I do not plan on leaving you guys for seven months at a time ever again. Like I want to become more consistent, but like I said, it's a lame excuse. I basically put my YouTube on pause once my house flooded being like, oh, once we start fixing the house, I'm gonna make it a whole series on my channel. I just didn't know how long it was gonna take for paperwork and all of that, but I'm back and here we are. Number four. So. This one is explaining the order of the videos. So once I finally decided to look at my footage and put it on my computer and start getting it into my editing software, I realized I had over four hours of footage. So I've decided to break the flood footage up into three parts. Flood prep, which is this video, then the flood itself, and then the aftermath, the cleanup, and the demo will be the third video. Then moving on from that, since we are currently in the process of fixing our home, which is very exciting, that will also be part of the series, the reno. I'll put a few days together. I'll give you updates along the way. And those will be videos of us actually fixing our house and getting it completely back to normal. Because this will be a several video series, this will be a series on my channel and it will have a playlist in the little like playlist tab where you can go and find all of the videos of about the flood, about fixing up our house and all of that. The flood was pretty lengthy, surprisingly, like it was over the course of a couple days. So I'll actually have like the date and the time on the video clip so you can follow it. That 
is explaining the videos. Now that brings me to our last and final point, number five. And that is, if this is the first time you're finding my channel, I welcome you. I'm very happy to have you here. And I also hope that you'll stay. Um, my channel is not like a weather chasing or a natural disaster channel. This is just me living my life, recording some of it and putting it on the internet. So although this series will be interesting and it will be kind of fun to like redo our downstairs and explain what we're deciding to change, um, you know, this is just me living my life. So it's not going to always be house renovations or natural disasters. I mean, if shit happens, then if I want to record it, I'll record it and put it on the internet. This is just me living my life and I decided to record an interesting event. So, um, yeah, this is us. I wasn't doing YouTube when we bought our house. So instead of giving you guys moving vlogs, I do our house flooded. <laughs> Miss Nova is in the background. She wanted to come say hello. But yeah, I wanna say thank you for being here. I hope you find my channel interesting enough to like wanna stick around and stay. Um, but with that being said, welcome to the disaster that was my home and the flood prep. Lots of stuff has changed since and I will definitely be giving you guys like a house update since like, you know, Christmas time. But for now, Welcome to the disaster that was our life in November of 2021 and we are still currently fixing it seven months later in July of 2022. So I'm gonna go. This intro has been long enough. I've explained enough and I hope you guys enjoy it. Bye guys. Hello guys. So we're still preparing for the flood. Here is the current state of our living room and our kitchen dining room area. There is stuff everywhere from the garage and whatnot. I have two flashlights in my hand because the flood water is already in our neighbor's backyard and I thought it would be interesting to go check it out. So I'm putting my boots back on. I got some snazzy rain boots from Walmart for $14. <laughs> and yeah, but our downstairs is not gonna ever probably look the same. So here is the stairs going up to the split level. Got a little nick in the wall there. Our little under the stairs closet here. The doorway for the rec room, extra space. And our coat hanger walking in. We still have the electrical and stuff. Honestly, all of this is probably just a lost cause for the most part. This is kind of the least of our worries at the moment. So this is probably just staying as is. That is a mirror. We'll probably move it just so it doesn't break, but that's not too important. And then down there, a little like Harry Potter closet that goes under the stairs some more. So here is a look at our rec room. So there is the top half and then bottom half. This is all going to be covered in several feet of water. Like, it's happening and there's no way to stop it. Our door, we're going to try to take that off. And downstairs. This is what the cat room was. The lower floor carpeting. And then up is just light and window. And then our laundry room up top is storage and such. And then we took out our washer and dryer. And this is everything on... The floor and the drywall and everything. Oh boy, this is crazy. I am literally starting to feel a little sick to my stomach because this is weird to see and know like what's gonna happen to our home and there's absolutely nothing we can do about it at this point. There's a big box to recycle. We'll probably bring it inside just so it doesn't get wet and then our garage as well. Um, the floor, we still have a few things we're going to move around in here. The washer, dryer, and fridge are just going to have to stay. We can't move them, and there's really not a whole lot we can do at this point. That's also going to stay, but we're going to be clearing off a few more things. Adam is emptying out the Corolla, and then we'll be moving this. The Chevy is currently in the middle of the driveway. I have a phone alarm for Adam. And we're working in the shop as well. Trampoline. Oh. Uh, 
guys i'm like i'm sad because i feel like we're like losing something even though like i think we'll be okay the propane tanks they're strapped to the house so i think they should be okay those are our propane tanks and then the garbage cans and stuff we will definitely be dragging up to the deck you guys are getting raindrops on you um but yeah we got a lot of stuff to do i am going to take you guys through the shop really quick and then we're going to be going out to the water with the flashlights to look at it because it's getting fucking crazy out here here's our shop lawnmower v10 hi baby smells like something got spilt so much stuff in here it's kind of crazy i feel like once we get the trucks out though it will feel a little bit better but yeah i forgot to grab my headlamp so let's go do that really quick and then i'm gonna hold you guys like this in hopes i don't get as many raindrops on the screen um then we're going out to the field so i can show you guys it's already in our neighbor's backyard basically so that's great i don't know if you guys can hear in the background you probably will once we get out to the field but there's a train going by and also don't mind how funny this is gonna look I am ready. I also, here's my fit, Carhartt jacket. It feels like it keeps me dry. I mean, it's not waterproof by any means, but like it's thick enough. It keeps me dry and warm and I only really need like the one layer. And then I'm wearing these gray sweatpants from Costco. They're like the 32 degree ones. So they're really good for like an underlayer. And then I have my gray boots. I don't know if you can see it. Let me tilt you down just a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay, let's try again. Now it's like too low anyways. Carhartt, sweatpants, gray boots, headlamp. Don't know exactly where I got it, but hello. Oh my gosh, the lighting though. <laughs> but anyways, I have my big Duracell flashlight again, Costco, and then just another smaller flashlight. I think I'm just going to bring this one and then my headlamp, but we're going to go out to the field and check it out. So I will see you guys over there. This is insane. Okay, so this is my neighbor's backyard. Oh my gosh, can you guys see? The green to gray, the gray is obviously. This is insane. Just the trek to our neighbor's backyard. I can get all the way to this corner. This is so eerie. It's not coming in that fast. Oh my gosh, there's so many bird feathers. It's gonna be like this like, muddy ass water is about to be in my pond building here. This is all just literal rainwater, so it's been raining non-stop as you can tell. Adam's getting some stuff moved up to the deck. I gotta start grabbing some garbage cans and get those moved up to the deck. You guys are getting wet and we got a lot of work to do, so I told you guys I would keep you updated. The flood is happening and it's just getting worse by the minute. We were thinking 34 feet, 31, 34, 36, then we saw 39, and I will check it right now. Full circle moment here. My hair is crazy, so time to dig in the hood. Let's see. The amount of anxiety I'm feeling right now, it's just a little overwhelming, but I need to push through. So 41.45 north of us, and 41.6 is what we're now expecting. The record was 37.4 and we are blowing that record out of the water at this point. Guys, I'm just freaking out right now. But anyways, I will see you guys 
later, I will keep you guys updated, but for now, I need to go get more shit moved. We'll get plenty of footage during the daytime when it starts getting in the house. Adam has full on fishing waders that will keep our bodies completely waterproof. We do have a boat, we have a canoe, and we have a deck, we have a hole upstairs we can fill up with stuff, and if we absolutely need to, we do have a friend's house we can stay at, we do have family's house we can stay at, so we have lots of options to leave if we need to, and to be in a safer place. We're going to try to stay out here because apparently people in the area start to loot, which is completely awful, but I'm just going to be trying to get as much footage for you guys, obviously in a safe way, how to get anything, like as soon as it starts to seep into the house or anything like that, and then also we'll have the boat that we can like take out and go, but I need to get back helping Adam, so I will keep you guys updated and I will see you guys later. Bye guys. Alright guys, I know it's super windy. I'm out here with Adam. It is now It's gonna hit our driveway too because it's gonna hit this and kind of stop. That is crazy, y'all. And the sky looks so eerie. This is literally a small pond just from the rainfall the last few days, which is insane because it's probably five or six inches deep in the middle. I can't believe this is all going to be water soon. This is officially our property line, so this is our backyard, but the water is getting closer and closer by the minute. It's insane. Oh boy. I am a little nervous, I must say. During the daytime, I'll definitely get a better view. Part of me wishes we could see it now, but when the water's actually getting into our house, I want it to be daytime, so hopefully this will take a few more hours before it gets up to the house and we'll get some daylight. Right now it's like almost two in the morning, so. The wind is picking up a lot, but we literally have our boat tied off to the deck, so it's accessible, but it will also float, so that's why it has a little bit of slack and it will be nice and close to the stairs, so however far down the stairs we have to come to get in the water a little bit if we have to get to the boat. And we have the boat accessible. Accessible. And the trailer's also tied off there too, so once we take the boat off of it, it'll all work out. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright y'all, another update. These holes are our edge. And it's coming right up along it. Going around the corner here, so it's much closer now. It just keeps getting closer and closer. About another foot or two and it will start filling up the pond puddle thing over there, but here it is, all the way to here now. So much closer to our house, that little pond is there, so about 10 to 15 feet away from it. This is all water now. And then of course still all the way out there. Y'all, the fucking water's here! Oh my fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the water is fucking here. I can't. You guys, it's here and it's happening. Right here, already. The shop already has water going into it. Through underneath the shop door, water from end to end. Front door where Adam's walking over there starting to get water going in that way as well. And it is literally right here in our driveway. It's gonna be in our house garage in, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We still have a bit of stuff in here to move. I think we'll be fine. Um, but it's just, it's happening and it's here, so. Oh, Jesus. All right, y'all, it's happening and it's here. Shop has already had water in it. The house is slowly getting water in the garage. We're actually starting to get water all the way up to the stairs here. It's all happening. I mean, if it wasn't the fact that the land is like literally flooding, it's kind of pretty looking almost, but it's not pretty in the sense of what's happening. But yep, the whole backyard starting to get wet, all the low points for sure. Everything's starting to fill up. We got our boat ready to go over here. Little rescue boat.
this is absolutely insane. My house is flooding. The water is easily up to my knees. Does this not feel like a scary movie? Guys, I'm literally in my garage and it's up to my waist. That is so eerie looking. Here's the shop. There's still water in here. <laughs> 